ಅನುದಿನ ಅನುಕ್ಷಣ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲೂ ಕಲಿಯೋಣ ಕಲಿಕೆಯ ಹೊಸ ಹಾದಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಜೊತೆಗೂಡಿ ಹೆಜ್ಜೆಯ ಹಾಕೋಣ ಸಂತಸದಿ ಕಲಿಯೋಣ ನಮ್ಮ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆಯಾಯಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ Hi hello welcome to children today i have brought you a beautiful and wonderful story for you look at the screen children the something is waiting for you and i would like to welcome you to this enjoy this story the story is about beauty and the beast let's begin before going to enjoy this session i would like to teach you something children are you ready come on this is the story between inner beauty and outer beauty in this story which is going to be own and which is the best beauty according to the author and in this story which is to be followed whether it is inner beauty or outer beauty let us see children so i am sunil kumar standing before you from koppal district would like to introduce you to this session that's about vocabulary okay let us see in this lesson many new words are introduced the first thing is bracelet in this bracelet this is an ornamental band or a chain tied around the wrist you can see this later the second one is insist insist means demand and the next one is rage rage means anger the next one is delicious delicious means tasty so look at these um, pictures women and men are very much fond of their own kinds of jewelry you know these children i am basically fond of these kinds of ornaments here one is for you that is anklet look at the picture next one is pearl i like this very much i want to wear so the next one is armlet armlet you can see the picture do you like this i think you are all fond of these kinds of ornaments do you want to have okay next thing bracelet i want to wear it yes how beautiful it is look at the thing next one is the most beautiful thing is waiting for you that is locket you can see the picture of that locket two things are there two babies are there one is kissing or is that and one is with a beautiful face and fa- smiling this is called this is called this is called locket fine you enjoyed all the things so the bangles are waiting for you to wear okay these are all the traditional parts of our indian culture in all the communities men and women some kinds of people they use these kinds of bangles and chain is there and next thing this is the gold chain for you so wedlock is there mangala sutra a married woman wears this all the times okay this is the symbol of the marriage this is called wedlock and even though there are n number of ornaments are there you know them already just you can recall them in your mind and enjoy the session you can look at these pictures children some kinds of beautiful flowers are there have you seen so i have seen this rose i have seen tulip i have seen sunflower have you seen 
Yes, children, I know. More than these, you have seen many kinds of flowers and you enjoyed with the company of these flowers. They are in rich colors. They are with their own kinds of fragrance. Because of fragrance, we love them. We want to have. We want to wear them. So, one of the things has been introduced in this lesson that is going to be discussed in the next coming minutes. Okay, let us see what happened. I have made a something special thing for you children that is about a delicious food. Wow! I made it for you children. Enjoy this and be ready for the next session. Yes, you can look at the plates. The complete food is there. Okay. Have you enjoyed? Okay. After this completion of food, now I am going to take you to this wonderful journey with this lesson. Let's begin the lesson, children. Enjoy the story. In the story, many things are going to be discussed. What is that? Okay, one by one we can have a discussion. There was a rich merchant who had three daughters. There was a rich merchant who had three daughters. This is to be remembered in your mind. A rich merchant had three daughters and he loved them equally. That is the duty of all the parents to love their children equally. There should not be any kind of discrimination with the matter of love and affection and care to show towards their children. I think you have been all equally loved by your parents. Yes, that's fine and grace. Next thing, the youngest daughter was the most beautiful of all the three sisters. This is the most turning point in our lesson. She was the most beautiful among all the three sisters, that is, youngest daughter. Okay, let us see what is going to happen. One day, he called all his daughters and said, one day, as usually, he called all his three daughters and he wanted to tell something for them. Then what is going to be told? Let us see. He said, I am going to a distant city on a business trip. Tell me children, what you would like me to bring for you? This is the thing, even my father, my mother, she used to ask me for my demands. As like, your parents also, they ask something to be brought for you while they are returning from some kinds of work from the outer station. Here, father was going to, he was going on a business trip and he is insisting to ask something for them to be brought. Next thing, what are the things are going to be asked by the three daughters? Let us see. A pearl necklace, said the eldest daughter. I have shown you already the pearl, what kind of the thing is. Children and women are very much fond of these kinds of pearls. They want to wear always. That gives them great happiness, great strength. Fine. The next thing is, the second daughter asked for a gold bracelet. Daddy, bring me a gold bracelet. Fine, I have shown you a model piece of a bracelet. Such like she wanted to have and she demanded for this. And the beauty said, the younger daughter said that. Daddy, I don't want anything. I wish that you return safely. Yes, any persons, any family members, any kind of relatives or friends, they want our safe return. That is more than anything else. Okay, as like that, the beauty wanted her father's safe return. Yes, children, this is our duty to wish for the betterment of our parents. Next thing what happens? But father insisted her to ask for something. And he, he asked once again, Dear child, you can ask something. Definitely I will return safely. You can ask something. Daddy, then you bring me a red rose. A rose I have, sh I have shown you. 
picture of some kinds of flowers in that picture, rose was there in the second line. We enjoyed that. The father, the father asked once again and the beauty said that to bring him a red rose. Yes, what happens? The rich man left the city and after finishing all his work, he brought, he bought all the things that his daughters had asked for. As soon as he finished his all duties, which is related to his business, he bought all the things what his daughters asked for. Now all the things are in his hand. Something is going to happen, special thing for you children. Let us see what is that. Here, on his way back, he was caught in a storm. The most terrible twist in the story is, on his way back, he was caught in a storm. He was swept, swept away to an unknown place. While searching for shelter, he came across a big house. While he was returning back to his home, he was caught in a storm and that storm took him to an unknown place. There he was searching for shelter. He came across a big house. There something is going to happen. He heard a voice. Come inside. I don't know who is that person who is calling him. Yes. As he went into that house, he saw a big table. There were many kinds of fruits and delicious meals were kept on that table. And what is to be done with the such delicious things? Fruits are there, delicious meals are there. See, if we were in that thing, in that condition, what would I have done? Let us see what he does there. He was hungry. He was hungry, very much hungry. He wanted to eat all the things. He ate the food and spent that night there in that house alone. Next morning he was ready to go back to his city. He wanted to thank the person for giving him food and shelter. But he couldn't find anyone there. He had food and all the delicious things with some kinds of varieties of fruits. The next morning he was ready to go back to the city. He wanted to thank the person who arranged all these things for him. But he couldn't find there anyone. The next what happens, while coming out of the house, he found lots of roses in that compound. He thought that let me, he thought that let me pick one flower for my daughter. Next happens, as he picked the flower, there were many kinds of flowers, especially the compound was rich with roses. He wanted to bring, he wanted to take one of them for her beautiful daughter. As he picked the flower, as he picked the flower, he heard a loud cry. How dare you to steal my roses? The rich man saw the creature with the body of a man and the head of a beast. The, the terrible thing was waiting. The terrible, the terrible, the most dangerous, the fearful thing which came before him. That told him that, how dare you to steal my roses? You can look at this picture, children. Having body of a man and head like a beast, the rich man saw this creature and he looked fearful. My God, how terrible it is. Something is going to happen to this father. Let us see what happens. I can give you anything for this red rose, said the rich man to that creature, that beast. Then bring me the first thing. You see, on reaching your home, rode the beast in a rage. The rich man agreed and left. When, the, when he reached the home, at first he saw beauty and his dearest daughter. The beast told that, you bring something, what you look at first at your home, instead of this rose. I will give you rose, but on a condition, you must bring a thing. What the thing first will be? seen by you at your house. As a result of that thing, he saw that beautiful lady, beautiful daughter at home. Something is going to happen. See what happens. He was very much sad. How could he give this beautiful daughter to that beast? Any father is not ready to give his own daughters to the beast. Children, you can remember the story of that Punya Koti. How she sacrifices her own daughter for the purpose of truth. Now, this is bond with the truth. 
Now he is going to give that beautiful daughter to the beast. The rich man told about the problem and beauty said that, Daddy, don't worry. Beauty cannot be a terrible thing. He showed you kindness and he arranged everything for you. And I will go him and I will go to him for your sake. Definitely I will save you, Daddy. You don't worry. As a result of this conversation, the beauty is ready to go to that beast. What happens there, children? That is the most important thing in this, in this lesson. So the father took the beauty to the beast. The beauty was scary and, sorry, the beast was scary and ugly. You can look at that picture, children, how terrible look it has. Body of a man and ugly and scary face. Yes, it is nothing but a some kind of uh, terrible creature. Look at what happens. But she decided to live with him. Father left her alone in that place. Now she decided to live with him. What happens, children? Look at. She looked after everything. She looked after him very well. The result of this thing. The beast also did everything to keep her happy. Look at that picture. She has a beautiful rose in her hand. How beautiful the daughter is. How terrible the thing is in that house. One day the beast asked, Would you let me to go to see my father? She wanted to see her father, their children. She asked this. She wanted to meet her father. It was asked by her and she said, I want to meet my father. The beast replied to that, you can go at any day as you like. Whenever if you want to meet your father, you can go and meet your father. Yes, the beauty does something here special. That evening she saw the beast sitting alone in the garden. What happens there? She was sad. Tears were rolling down his cheeks. Why? Because the beauty is leaving him. The beauty is going to see, meet her father. The beauty took pity on him. She went him. She went him in the garden. What happens there, children? Look at the next thing. Children, don't cry, dear beast. Don't cry. Said lovingly. I shall never leave you alone. Definitely I will be back within a few days. Then what happens? Then she put her arms around the beast and kissed him. At once the beast jumped up in great joy. This is the turning point of the story children. When she put her, puts, her, her, puts her arms around the beast, she kissed him. And the result of this magical touch, that divine touch, at once the beast jumped up in a great joy. The climax, climax of this story is waiting for you children. Then what happens? The beauty looked at him in great surprise. Something is there before her. Now this is not a beast. Oh God, the beast had completely changed. His ugly head had changed into a charming face. Now the beast had been completely changed himself with that magical touch. His ugly head had changed into a charming face. Next what happens? He looked tall and handsome like a prince, like me, like a man with handsome look. He had changed himself because that magical touch which was given by that beauty made him to become like this. Yes, you have broken the spell, said the prince. A witch had changed me into beast. She said that only a kiss from a young girl would give me back my true shape. I have become like this. I had become like this, children. I had become like this, dear beauty because of a magical spell which was made by a kind of terrible witch. Then she told me that only a kiss from a young girl would give me back my true shape. 
now beauty married the prince and the two lived happily forever in their great house that is the kindness that is the message what we are uh, studying in this special thing in this lesson we studied about the inner beauty versus outer beauty the winner beauty got the special prize is here why because with the help of her kindness she did something special in his in this beast's terrible life and she made good things for him and finally they got married and they lived happily forever in, in their great house this is the climax children okay in this story you learn many things beautifully now let's go to check the comprehension why did the merchant go to the distant city you know that children already he went on a business trip he went on a business trip this is the thing you know already so this is the first answer for this first question why did the merchant go to the distant city it means he went to the distant city on a business trip then the second thing is waiting for you what did the third daughter ask for the third daughter asked for the father's safe return anything else the safe return was important for that third daughter who was a great beauty among all the three next what happens who welcomed him to the big house who welcomed there in that invi invisible place or unknown place see check the answer the beast welcomed him you know this already the beast welcomed him yes children have you got it just you copy the questions and answers now i am going to take you to the field of entertainment let's enjoy the fun the first thing is for you the first thing is for you the first thing is for you <coughs> the first thing is for you children look at there complete the words filling in the right letters the words are found in the text i have taken for you one is done for you daughter is there for you daughter now you can make this meaningful word using any kind of letters from the group of alphabet next one is there for you look at this and write down and copy the next one is for you and one more is waiting for you let us check the answers the first answer is necklace the second answer is fruit the third answer is delicious next now this is time to enjoy the fun okay the second beautiful thing is waiting for you children that is some kinds of words are there we can make a new word by rearranging letters of a word just there is an example given you can look at that word rose using the letters from that word specially rose i did some kind of meaningful word so again the second example is there for you you can look 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 there and the thing is for you the first one is here you can look at this thing and make a meaningful word or words okay the second thing is left you can use any letters from this word and make meaningful words that is the thing it may be a word or words the third is dear the fourth is earth let us go to the next one the last one is post so let us check the answers with the help of four words with this first thing here 
I made four meaningful words for you: year, he, or her. These are all the four words I have taken from this specific word and with specific letters. So, like that, you have done all the things I know. Learn, for learn, or earn, and near are there. And next for dear, year and read is there. Fourth one is earth. For earth, art and eat, post, pot and top. These are all the words I made for you using the basic words from the basic given words. And next, the most important thing is waiting for you, children. That's about the numbers. We know that already. What is number? The number means that is related with countable and uncountable. That is related with nouns, countable nouns and uncountable nouns. What is countable and what is uncountable? Let us have a small look. Countable means a noun or nouns which can be counted is called countable nouns. I can count a banana, an egg, a 10 rupees coin, a pen, two pens are there. <coughs> Next, what is uncountable? Uncountables are substances, keep this in your mind, concepts and etc. We cannot divide them into specific elements. We cannot count them. For example, bread cannot be counted, alphabet cannot be counted, rice cannot be counted, coffee cannot be counted, water cannot be counted, money cannot be counted, baggage cannot be counted. Fuel cannot be counted. Like that, which cannot be counted, that is called uncountable noun. So, liquids cannot be counted. Bread, rice, salt, poetry, coffee. So, like that, which cannot be counted, that is called uncountable noun. Uncountable nouns are always substances and concepts and other things. We cannot divide them into separate elements separate elements. This is the most important thing to keep always in your mind. So, have a discussion with your teachers about what is countable and what is uncountable noun. Discuss with your teachers. There is a small kind of homework I will assign you today. So, have a list of countable nouns, have a list of uncountable nouns. Before this and one more thing is waiting for your children. Let us enjoy. What is that? There is an assignment for you as I told you. Read the lesson once, Beauty and the Beast. Enjoy all the things. Dialogues are there. Enjoy the dialogues. If possible, enact it at home or in the classroom under the guidance of your parents and teachers. Maintain social distance. That is the most important thing. Collect the images of ornaments from the old newspapers. So, this is for today's uh, lesson. So, this is the time to end up this beautiful thing for you children. Thank you. Bye-bye. I am Sunil Kumar from GHPS Beluru, Koppal district. Have a nice day. All the best. Yes, sir. Yes, teacher. That's it, ma'am.